when you're in the early stages of building your business and you're the one wearing all the hats and doing everything, it can be pretty overwhelming. And it can also feel like you're never going to be able to get things set up or learn enough to get your business to the point where it's sustainably supporting you and your family. I used to feel like that all the time. And to be honest, I still sometimes do. But over the years, I've discovered that if you adopt this one small habit, you're going to see a massive increase over time in how effectively you run your business. And when you run your business effectively, that's eventually going to end up meaning that it's running at the level that you want it to in terms of revenue and the amount of time you spend on it, etc. So in this short episode, I'm going to share something that I've shared with the people who get my newsletters. And that is the habit, which is now a quick and easy process, that I use to continuously improve my business, all of the related digital assets, my skills, my understanding of how things work, you name it. And this habitual process really helps me keep lifting my game. And I want to share it with you today so that you can use it as well or something similar to it so that you can beat the odds and build a thriving online business. Welcome to the Online Business Launchpad podcast. I'm Trudy Rankin, and I bring you stories, tips, and advice from online entrepreneurs who are finding success, because if we've done it, so can you. I've been running my own online business for nine years now with more than a few twists and turns as I've learned what to do and what not to do to achieve my goals. And because of what I've learned, I've become passionate about helping overworked and overwhelmed online business owners like yourself grow your business without burning out or having to hire a big team. And I've used my experience and the experience of others to help hundreds of people grow their online business. And one of my greatest joys is working with people who, because of life circumstances, really, really need a flexible work from home or work from anywhere option that helps them pay the bills. And my mission is simple. I want to help you solve the challenges you face as a far too busy online business owner so that you can have more time and money for yourself and your family and more choices in how you live your life. So if you're ready to dive into how you can sustainably build your online business without wearing yourself out, stick around and let's get cracking. Okay, I admit it. I hate waiting in line for anything. And recently I had to go see my GP to get the results from my regular yearly wellness check. And she was super busy. So yep, she was late. And I sat there cooling my heels, listening to the kid coughing in the corner, wishing I'd worn a mask and trying not to think of all the things I needed to get done that day. And I could have gotten all grumpy and bent out of shape about that valuable time that was slipping by with nothing to show for it. But instead, I made a couple of really important decisions. I decided to make use of this unexpected opportunity to sit and do nothing. And I decided to think about how I could apply what I call the 1% up technique to my business. Now, I love the 1% up technique. I call it the 1% up technique because that helps it stick in my brain. But I originally heard about it from James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, where he talks about it in terms of continual self-improvement. And if you haven't read this book about how to build and break habits, you should go out and get it right now. It's really helped me get some great habits going. So whether you call it the 1% up technique or a process for self-improvement, it really doesn't matter because there's definitely nothing secret about it. When you apply it to your business, basically you focus on discovering and doing small things that will improve your business little bit by little bit by little bit. Now, it might be documenting a process or making it more efficient, or it could be tweaking your website copy or strengthening your ability to write words that sell. It could be adding in a mini course that increases your cash flow or spending an hour doing an audit of your tech tools to see if you really need all of them and if you really need to have that much cash going out of your bank account every year or every month to pay for them. There are so many different things you can do. The trick is not just to do one of them and then stop. The secret to really boosting your business is to do one every week, if at all possible. And if it's not possible to do one every week, then do one every fortnight or every month. 
The point is do something on a consistent basis and make sure that those things are things that can be done very quickly. So we're talking micro steps or micro projects here. My first rule for me is that these 1% up micro projects have to be able to be completely finished within one to two hours and preferably less. And the second rule I have is that they do have to move the needle. So I'm not talking about playing pickup sticks here or, you know, mess around with the, with the image in Canva just to make sure that you're tweaking this font for that font. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the things that over time will end up increasing traffic to my website, give me more signups to my email list and ultimately more sales so that when they all get added up at the end of the month or quarter or year, I can see a pretty big shift from where things were last time I checked. Now, James Clear says that if you can get 1% better each day for one year, you'll end up 37 times better by the end of that year. Now, that's a bit nebulous when you think about it in terms of business improvement, but I think it gets the point across. Tiny micro improvements applied on a consistent basis are going to result in exponential gains over time. Now, do you want that for your business? Well, I definitely want it for mine. So coming back to the 1% up process and my restless wait in the doctor's waiting room, I realized I had a notebook with me. And while I waited, I got a solid few minutes in thinking about what my next 1% up task or project could be. And I came up with six move the needle ideas. So after I got back to my desk, I turned those ideas into six bright yellow post-it notes, all with the words 1% up written at the top. Then I put those post-it notes just below my computer so that I see them every time I sit down to work. And those notes will stay there in my line of sight on my desk until I get them done. So here are a couple of examples that are focused on maximizing signups to my email list from my online business launchpad podcast, which is the one you're listening to right now. And basically, one of them says, add a blurb and a link to the show notes prompt template to join the email list. So by doing that, I'm by putting it into my prompt template, I'm reminding myself to make sure that I include it every time I post my show notes for each episode. Whereas if I didn't do that, I'm just going to forget. I'll do it once or twice and then forget. But by doing it this way, I'm going to always have that reminder and then it'll always get put into my podcast show notes. The second example that I have is that the note that I made was to create one lead magnet per category for my OBL podcast or my online business launchpad podcast. And I have five categories of topics that I use on a regular basis for my podcast. And so if I create a one lead magnet for each of those categories, then I can include that link for whichever lead magnet is appropriate in the show notes for that episode. And then over time, that's going to help me grow my email list. So those were just two of the six examples that I came up with while I was sitting there in the doctor's office. Now, those yellow post-it notes, as I said, are now sitting in front of my computer and I see them every time I sit down. And once I've completed each task, I get the really enjoyable satisfaction of giving it a big tick and then crumpling it up and chucking it in the recycle bin. Now, okay, so maybe that's a weird way of celebrating small successes, but hey, it works for me. So here's my challenge for you. The next time you're standing in a queue or a line somewhere and you're bored and you're tempted to pull out your phone and start scrolling social media or something, don't do that. Instead, use that time to think about what 1% up improvements you could make in your business, ones that you could really easily implement within the next couple of days. Now, if you're struggling to come up with 1% ideas, here's a recap of my step-by-step -step process. You start out by thinking about how your business is structured and what you have to do every day or every week, like creating content or doing sales calls or working on your marketing funnels, and then just pick one of those areas. And then Next, you're going to think of one thing that you know could be done better or more effectively, but it's always being put off because you just don't have time. So for me, it's always my podcasting process or the sales funnels on my website. So then next, you make a list of all the little improvements that you'd like to do to make that thing better. Put that list somewhere where you can see it. Like for me, like I said, I use post-it notes. I try transferred the list to post-it notes. And then once a week, pick one of those things on that list or on a post-it note and then slip it into your to-do list. 
and then go forth and do them and watch the rewards come in month after month. And just a postscript on my story, I got one of my 1% up tasks done before the end of that day, and it has saved me a ton of time. So that's a wrap for today's episode, where I've shared the process I use to help me continuously improve my business and the results it gets for my clients and me. And if you found today's episode helpful, do me a favor, please, and leave an honest review. Your feedback not only helps me improve, but it helps others know if this podcast is right for them. Remember to hit subscribe so you never miss out on future episodes. And thanks for tuning in. And remember, your review could be the beacon that guides someone to find the insights they need to lift their own online presence. So until next time, keep creating, keep inspiring, and keep sharing your unique story with the world. And I'll see you next time. If you're a long-time listener to the Online Business Launchpad podcast, you'll know that I often talk about Pat Soon's SPI Pro community. Now, what you might not know is that I'm a founding member of that community. And every year I keep signing up because I get so much value out of it. For example, every month I meet with a mastermind group whose members are at the same spot on the entrepreneurial journey as I am. And we celebrate our wins and navigate challenges together. And if we want to chat in between meetings, we just easily jump into the space that's reserved just for our mastermind and, and just say whatever's on our mind. It's a really supportive space where we all keep growing in confidence and capabilities, knowing that someone or several someone's have got our back. And that's not all the value I get from being part of the SPI Pro community. I have access to really relevant trainings that Pat has put together. Plus, I've connected with several amazing guests for my podcast. Experts who shared invaluable insights with my audience. And the opportunities just keep coming. I've had the honor of being on Pat Flynn's own podcast and even teaching other SPI Pro members about some of the things that I'm expert in. And being a part of the SPI Pro community, it's like having my own special group of advisors that I can reach out to anytime I need them. Imagine having that network at your fingertips where every connection inspires and every interaction teaches something new. That's what SPI Pro is all about for me. It's more than a community. It's a place where we as entrepreneurs come together to push the boundaries of what we can achieve. So are you ready to be part of something bigger? To learn, share, and grow alongside fellow business owners who are just as driven as you? Check it out for yourself and see for yourself the difference a truly collaborative community can make. And if you'd like to use my affiliate link to sign up, go to onlinebusinessliftoff.com forward slash SBI dash pro. If you do, I'll receive a small commission at no extra cost to you, for which I thank you. And once you're in the community, say hello, and I'll be delighted to show you around. So join me in the SPI Pro community and let's reach new heights together. Once again, that's onlinebusinessliftoff.com forward slash SPI dash pro. And we'll see you there.